So which is it, guys? So organizations may chase high consumption for prestige rather than focusing on meaningful outcomes, ROI, or end-user benefits, which I think is the case right now. Clearly, the amount of organizations that I'm meeting with and the first thing they tell me is the number of tokens that they're leveraging and the amount of AI they're consuming is some sort of a positive metric. It just kind of leads me to believe that people are off base here. We're not focused on the right things. We're focused on just the consumption of the technology and not delivering the business value, which I said, you know, a bunch of times during this video, but I can't state that enough because I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure why companies that are extremely smart and have extremely smart leadership are bending to this trend because I think it's absolutely dysfunctional and makes them look dumb. So while the 100 billion token award, you know, superficially signals technological adoption at scale, it risks promoting a culture where the sheer volume of machine generated data trumps intelligent, ethical and results driven AI applications and ultimately the business value those applications are able to deliver. Organizations should be recognized for creating genuine value delivering efficiency, insights, innovation, rather than simply accumulating uses statistics. So celebrating consumption without regard for impact or efficiency, I think is misguided and may ultimately distort industry priorities and lead us to bad outcomes from the use of AI and certainly the use of AI in the cloud. In the fast evolving generative AI landscape, the real winners are those who deploy these tools thoughtfully and effectively during tangible improvements for users and society and the planet, everything that you tout to uh, protect. So not just for those who burn through the most tokens. And so, Let's stop it, guys. I mean, we're, we're, we're looking dumb enough already, uh, you know, yet we're bragging about how much uh, resources we're consuming and not what those resources are actually doing. I rarely hear people talk about, you know, business cases and real client engagements and real client or customer usage scenarios where they talk about the value that's being delivered. That